It all started on a late afternoon during one of my usual bike rides. The sun had already dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows through the dense forest. As the light faded, I found myself on a path I hadn't taken in years. One that led me to a place I never wanted to return to. But there it was again, this old forgotten house hidden deep in the woods. I had heard rumors about it. Some said it was cursed. Others claimed it was haunted, but I never believed any of that. Not until tonight. And then, I saw it. A strange, faint green glow leaking from one of the windows. The forest grew quieter, no sounds of birds, no rustling of leaves, just the eerie silence of something watching. My heart raced. I wasn't sure if it was curiosity or fear that compelled me to get closer. As I neared the house, every step felt heavier, like the earth itself was warning me to turn back. But I couldn't. That strange light. There was something unnatural about it. I had to know what was inside. The closer I got, the stronger the glow became. And as I reached the front door, I noticed it wasn't just the light that was strange. I reached out to the old dusty window. Through the grimy glass, I could barely make out the room inside, but the green glow illuminated something, or someone. At first, I thought it was a shadow, maybe an old mannequin. But as my eyes adjusted to the dim light, I saw her. There, standing in the middle of the room, was a woman. She wore a white nightgown, the kind you'd see in an old photograph. Her hair hung down over her face, wild and tangled, covering her eyes. She stood still, not moving, not breathing, but I could feel her presence as though she knew I was watching. For a moment, I froze. There was no doubt anymore. And then, as if in response to my thoughts, her head began to tilt ever so slightly, as if she were looking directly at me through the strands of hair. My heart pounded in my chest, so loud I was sure she could hear it. I stumbled back with my heart still racing. I didn't wait to find out what happened next. I ran. But the strangest part, as I left the house behind, I could still feel her presence, like she was watching me, following me with unseen eyes. She are still there. I wish I could say this was the end of the story, but it's not. What I saw that night still haunts me. But if you think this was terrifying, there's more. Check out my video about other haunted locations that will send chills down your spine. Trust me, this isn't the last time you'll feel the fear.
Thank you.